Yeah, hi. Uh, so in today's uh, session, we will uh, discuss about the structures. Okay, what is a structure and uh, uh, how structures are used in a normal scenario? If you see everywhere, you will see uh, examples of a structure. You can consider a tree itself. Okay, tree is a structure where it is having root, stem, leaves. And if you take a human body, it's a complex structure. So it is, it is uh, uh, like consist of maybe like a face. Face is again a structure in which uh, you can have eyes, nose, and uh, you can have ear, head. And again, there is a like uh, you might be knowing like um, if brain again, it's a new. Uh, nervous system okay that is again a, you can consider as a structure if you take a respiratory system anything is a structure itself okay if you see a office office also will have a reception room and waiting room and uh, like meeting room boss cabinet cabinet and where people will sit so that is again a structure and usually common example for a structure everybody gives is a student okay student or employee and that is where people will think that okay when somebody will ask about structure they'll only think of okay employee id or a student number student name and all. so we want to make sure that why we are using structure okay so what is the need of a structure then we will appreciate the use of a structure and structure only if you are storing data in the form of structures it is a data structure so let us consider by taking int a this is what it's a variable okay if you take int array array is again a structure okay which is array is also a data structure which stores a data of same elements of same data type okay you can consider here one two three four five this is again a data structure which contains elements in a sequential form and it contains only data which is of same data type variables of same data type you will be grouping that okay example the students okay so same students you can group and you can name it you can array of characters is called string okay you can consider that also here name of 20 okay or you can always say name for constant and maybe you can say So, okay. So, this is a string of characters. So, suppose I want to store an element which consists of which needs a data to be added of different data types. Okay. Suppose you take a complex number complex number is what it will have a number and a plus imaginary number that is a complex number so we can consider one more where if you can consider a normal structure okay whatever you want maybe let us consider as a our uh, we can consider or employee salary okay so we want to create a structure where we'll store his salary his details and all okay any like some information which has many which needs many which needs to be stored with a different uh, data types okay like a structure array is the one which consists of elements of same data type but a structure is one which can which contains which which contains information of different different elements of different data type let us say how structure is written okay 
So we need to use a keyword called structure and then you say some name, okay? So salary. So if this is, this is how we'll be writing a structure, okay? And then we want, okay? So what we'll be having, okay, salary, whose salary it is, some name, okay? The guy who is having the salary, okay? And what is his salary? Maybe it may be in the term of load, okay? Where he may get some uh, floating point numbers and we can also have his number, name, okay? Number. You can consider his employee number because it is in the form of integer, okay? We can create this as a employee salary company okay company pays salary to the people okay we can make payroll as salary payroll okay so it's up to you how you want to do this so let us this is a structure so how we will define a variable of that structure this is Struct. So name is company payroll. Okay. And you can have a variable. So how you are having integer A variable. So this is a structure. You want to have a name. Okay. Employee 1 and employee 2. If you want to store employee who is a 100 employee, this one. Okay, we can have a array of structure where you can store 100 data. Okay, so where you will have a, you will capture a data of 100 uh, employees in the same structure. Where you can mention employee 1 is uh, a employee B, employee 2 is B and employee other one is employee 26 is Z and A Z, whatever name, okay, whatever, Saurabh, Pawan, so you can have all those lists. And now we need to check, okay, if you want to print normal element, no, how we will print, print a A equal to percentage D and you can always have A you can assign to 50 and this is how you will print A and if you want to print if you want to print a element of array element whichever you want you can always print so So what you want array of third, okay, array of three, you can print array of three. So let us see. Twenty one. Okay, here we have not assigned it. Okay, this is A, so we should give it as an array, array name, C. So now we need to know how to assign element of a structure, okay. How we will assign in the same way, what we have, we have a E1, okay, that is a structure and how we will initialize structure, okay. We need to understand. So we want to 
initialize a structure and if you have a normal variable then you will use a dot operator you will use dot operator to initialize okay structure elements individually so you can uh, take one cupboard okay so you have one cupboard where you have a one lock and inside that there is a separate cupboard okay to access that cupboard first you need to open this that is how it behaves this is the main cupboard and you have a inside there is one more locker cupboard is there where you need to access that is acts as a name salary and all so here ev so salary float okay you can take salary and you can mention it as 5050 rupees okay 50 paisa and even dot employee number is equal to 4 you can take and you can take name okay even dot name so what you need to do is you need to you can't assign directly assign any values to that so what you need to do is you need to copy that name okay so you need to use string copy for that that is why i am adding string dot h so you can always mention strcpy okay so employee one dot name is equal to server so you have initialized all these three elements of a structure so you can consider this salary is nothing but float salary you can always mention name is nothing but name how you have given so employee number is a how you have given integer only difference is it is part of a structure so you need to first give structure name and you need to use a dot operator if you want to use it so when you are having a pointer to the structure okay structure pointer then you will be using arrow operator that is the only difference so here we have already assigned so what we need to do is we need to know how how structure elements are exist There are so you can print all those things one by one. Print F. So what it is you want to have a name, okay? Name will be percentage S, then even dot name. percentage D it is employee number and print F percentage F slash in even dot cell So let us see whether we will get error or we will get all the details. See here. So what we have given. So these all are we have already given. Okay. So hello world and all. 
so we need to understand what we are giving okay see here so here we had given array element 3 okay so if you don't want this let us only concentrate on what we want okay why we why have added all these is to understand the difference between this and this okay so there is no difference between initializing a variable and initializing a structure variable so only difference is you have elements inside the structure that is why you will use structure name dot and the variable name so instead of like if you don't have structure what you need to do you need to have separate variables for each that is the only difference if you have a structure then you can club that and you can store so you can take a best example is your aadhar card or your account details of a bank where for each person we will be having a unique aadhar number our name our uh, uh, like date of birth our address okay those are unique to you so aadhar card number this is one structure where they will store all this information of every citizen okay so that is where that is the best example see here what we have done here okay elements of a complete payroll structure are for employee one maybe we can mention e1 here of employee one that is nothing but even a r so you can so what we are doing basically even salary we have given employee number you have given and name let us see if we are not giving we are not using string copy and will directly assign okay so what will happen You can just see how it works okay see what it has given so assignment of expression with array type because this is a array of characters and you are if you want to assign a single character you can assign here because it will give maybe let us see that because you need to understand these in details okay how you are accessing ele array element that is what so if you see this here also it is telling array type assignment to expression type because it is a array of characters and you are not assigning that so assigning of that is not allowed so that is why we will be using string copy to copy the elements so if you want to have one more uh, maybe like character okay if you want to have a character maybe say male or female okay gender you can mention whether it is a male or female that we can add here e1 dot gender equal to male so rav is male okay so let us now check here we can always print that character let us see whether it will be accessible or not so you need to understand this is very simple structure is a data type okay a structure is a feature of c where you need to use this to store elements of different data types in a one structure so it is gender now let us see whether that will be printed or not see now everything is printed correct so now we can see name is saurabh and uh, employee number is this we can always see here we can always write name of employee and then employee number
then salary then his gender see employee name employee number salary and his gender so if you want to store more detail elements here what you can do is if you want to store 100 employee details then you need to add all the details okay so for example let us say two employees because we don't uh, because we don't want to add more things we can always add here so here we have added as a we are assigned directly these values if you want to assign it using you can take all these inputs as input from the user using scan app that also you can do okay please enter maybe like you can uh, print enter the employee details of two employees okay what you can do is you can just take all the information maybe since it's two you can just have one loop because i don't want to get all the details okay if you want to have three you can have three and you use a for loop to take that for i equal to 0 i is less than 3 i plus plus ok so what we need we need information of this one ok we can always use all these things we need to use but using scanf we should be we should make sure that we use scanf okay and here you need to make sure take that information once you take it you need to add all those Here we are having employee. So it is employee name then salary so what is what we are doing employee of i okay so that is what we need to do employee of i employee of salary i then after salary it is employee number then next it is gender so we need to take all three guys entry and then we need to print all those things okay So here we need to like F employee number is D and character. 
Jenga. So since it's a employee name is okay, percentages, then you need to take this as an ampersand, ampersand, ampersand. Here you need to print employee name and all. Okay. So we can mention print in employee detail one, two, three, so that we can always tell here employee number. Then employee. So here we can print. We can always take this and employee one, two, three. We can print percentage D, and we can print employee. R. So let us say how it goes. See, structure company payroll has no numbered mail salary. So we are not, this is not a salary, it is SAL sal. Okay. This is what it means. Okay. Now you need to enter name. First is name, okay. It is. Let us take. Sam, and his salary is seven thousand. Seven thousand, and his employee ID is one, and his gender is male. Ah, next. Second. Raj, five thousand. Employee two, and me. Third one, maybe like Sunny, ten thousand. Employee four three, then female. So what we need to do now? One is zero two three. One two three. Okay. Let's see. I think there was an extra. I don't. Know. Okay. Let us see what all things it has given. So we had given and so employee details. Okay. First is Sam. Okay, this was earlier. So already we have given that we have initialized directly this one. But these are the employee names we want to enter details. Okay, enter the details of employee zero. We have entered it. Enter the details of employee one, and. All these things are done correctly. Only if you see, these are the three informations we have given: employee zero, one, two. Okay. First is Sam, seven thousand salary. Employee number one, male. Second one is Raj, five thousand. Second and one. This is what. So Sanmi, third employee, ten thousand. Employee ID is three. So these are all details we have given, and it has displayed correctly. There may be only one case where we have missed out something. That is why it has certain rules. Four one equal to three. Okay. It has printed correctly. Somewhere it was needing one space. Okay, here since we have given all slash and no, it is expecting that. 
so when you are writing in scanf you should be very careful so we have got the correct result so now you know how to get the information from the structure okay so how you are initializing array in the same way you will be initializing only difference is you are having structure and inside that you are having variables of different data types so that you are creating as a structure so that is the importance of structure okay structure is a feature of c where you can store elements of different data type that is a speciality of the structure so for that is how we can create a like if you are storing more data that again itself is called a data structure so we have q uh, array is also data structure where we can store uh, data of same data type okay which is having the same data type like here integer only when we want to store elements of same data type we can use array when you want to store elements of different data type you can create it as a structure okay we have just now understood how to initialize and print structure variables this is nothing but using dot okay when you are having a normal variable and when you having a array again same thing you are using just i to represent that uh, variable okay uh, employee one employee two employee three if you want to take the values from the uh, terminal okay from the user you want to take uh, values and you want to store and print that is what you are doing and next one is a pointer okay pointer we'll discuss in next uh, uh, next video we will discuss okay because so the difference between initializing structure variable okay is using dot operator and when you are initializing for a pointer you will use arrow operator okay that is the difference as you know pointer size is same for anything like irrespective of any data type integer pointer character pointer structure pointer all will be 4 bytes in case of 32 bit, 8 bytes in case of 64 bit. Okay, so thank you. We will cover how to access structure variables using pointers in next video. Okay, thank you.